Important breaking news from the world. With most people now trying to stay away from what has come to be known as the rape capital, it's quite shocking to see that some women are intentionally going out after dark. In fact, at least one woman recently went for a jog, and onlookers were left shocked to see what was right behind her. With the current influx of Muslim migrants into Western nations, one truth has come to light, more often than not, Muslims won't assimilate into our culture. It's not that they can't, it's that they won't, and the reasoning is rather simple. Muslims view Islamic rules to be higher than any law of the land. As a result, we're seeing spikes in crime in the countries that are taking in so-called refugees hand over fist. Despite there being a drastic rise in assaults, rape, and even murder, leftist politicians refuse to acknowledge the reality caused by forced multiculturalism in the name of political correctness. Sadly, this means that the very people whom they swore to protect are being put in harm's way, but that still doesn't seem to have any bearing on what they're doing. Take, for example, Sweden. It is a nation of only 9.5 million people, and with the 190,000 refugees it's expected to take in, 2% of its population, it might not resemble what it once did for much longer. Of course, this is already coming true as they're experiencing what conservatives have warned would happen. Now, frustrations are mounting as people, who were once living safe and happy lives, have now been subjected to increased crime on account of the new additions. At this point, nearly half of all women are afraid to venture out after dark, knowing full well that they could be taken advantage of by a migrant. This is especially true for women who venture out alone. Although the local police are denying this is the case, their actions actually speak otherwise. According to a report released by Swedish publication SVT, Women living in the Swedish city of Oskarsham will now have the option to be accompanied by a police officer if they want to run after dark. As Oskarsham Police Inspector Peter Carlson went on to explain, the intent is to ease the insecurities of the public. Police have begun to form jogging groups, and all those who are interested in joining the officers are more than welcome to tag along. We will adjust the pace entirely to those who come. Carlson said, noting the officers would jog as well as walk with residents who wanted to join. Of course, seeing how it looks, Carlson tried to downplay the staggering crime rate, saying, it does not happen so much here, but people are influenced by events around the world and feel unsafe when it's dark. The issue is particularly bad in troubled heavily migrant populated suburbs which are often labeled no-go zones. A survey conducted by the Swedish National Council for Crime Prevention RA, claimed that around half of the residents of problem areas were too afraid to leave their homes in the evenings. Bra has expressed support for Carlson's jogging program, as has the municipal government in Noskarsham. Carlson said the officers will be carrying handcuffs as well as weapons as they jog with residents. We have tried and found the best that we can fix the equipment to and that works to run in, he said. Source, Briet Bart. There is a clear-cut problem with the migrant population, and that is the fact that the left allows them to go virtually unchecked. Even worse, when something happens, they do their best to cover it up or make an excuse for them. And, it's all in the name of political correctness sense, somehow. Liberals believe all cultures are equal, which simply isn't true. At the end of the day, all migrants should be expected to assimilate into the customs of their new host countries, including obeying the laws of the land. After all, they are allegedly fleeing their homeland because of the oppressive beliefs and practices there, so they shouldn't have any problem leaving them behind. If you're running away from horror and barbarism, why would you want to bring that with you and continue doing it elsewhere? The mentality here is backward, and frankly, it needs to change in the interest of civilized life. When women need an armed police officer to go out running with them, it's time to admit there's a problem, 
and any ideology that encourages rape is the problem and doesn't belong in civilized society. Enough excuses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.